So I get a lot of questions, which characters should I place on which team? Which team should I be using in certain game modes? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at it all. I'm gonna show you all of my characters, which teams I am currently using them in, and take a look at which teams I'm using in each game mode. And if that sounds good to you, find that like button and you know what to do with it. Let's go smash it. Valley Flyer. What is up Valley Maniacs, Valley Flying here. I am back, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am talking about all of my characters, which teams I'm using them on, which teams I'm using in certain game modes, and we're gonna discuss all of that. So uh, hopefully this helps you plan out, if you're a newer player, plan out some of the teams that you could start to use long-term. Uh, if you are a more veteran player, maybe this could give you ideas of some other teams that you can be using, but uh, this is what I am currently doing. So let's go into the game and let's start with save squads. All right, so I know we go over the save squads every month or so with OMG Mobile Gamer, but there's been a lot of changes since the last time uh, we did that just a couple weeks ago. So I wanted to go over some of these teams. Now, this team has gotten a little more powerful. This is Black Order. I've gotten lucky with... Uh, these red stars on these characters and I've uh, put a lot of resources into them. I'm probably going to gear 14 all of these characters. So uh, Black Order right now using them on Arena Offense. Been using them on there for a while and just switched them up to Arena Defense. So this is my Arena Offense and Defense team right now. Uh, defense, it might change in a few days. I'll see how it holds the rank. But um, yeah, I I've just switched it out. Uh, as Guardians, not much to say here. Pretty, pretty cookie cutter team. Oh, and both of these teams, by the way, are on uh, war defense. These are two of my war defense teams. Uh, X-Men. I guess there's something to talk about here because I get a lot of questions. Which is the best version of X-Men? Now, uh, there's a lot of different versions. Uh, the Psylocke version is good for certain game modes. Some people don't have um, Cyclops, so... They, uh, they have just the, the basic, the original version of the X-Men with Psylocke here instead of Cyclops. Uh, but then uh, there's a version that you take out Wolverine and put in Ultron so you could punch up against uh, some of these other meta teams on uh, on war defense. But um, this is the version that I run and uh, they, they do pretty good. Uh, one weakness right here is Cyclops. As you can see, he's lacking those gold stars and that's kind of what's holding this team back right now. Uh, works very well in Blitz, even though the common uh, theory back in the day was, or the common knowledge, was to kind of have all these characters kind of equal. As you can see, some big power disparity between uh, some of these X-Men characters. Uh, and then Psylocke, she is on this team right here. Uh, when I've, I've started uh, losing some hero brawlers, I took uh, original Spider-Man out, and yes, she ended up on this team because... I like that you could clear all the debuffs off of the Spider-Verse team. And yeah, that, that's kind of what this team was missing. Plus, she's get, you give her another, uh, uh, this team, another character that can flip buffs on the uh, enemy team. Or she, she could clear buffs. Uh, Venom's going to uh, flip them. But uh, I, I like her on this team. Recently, uh, because of X-Force and Deadpool moving off of my hero brawlers, I put Drax onto this team once I broke up those Guardians. And I just recently did that. Uh, actually, just before this, so uh, he he is he, he re was recently made homeless. So I put him on this team. Miles is now on the Hero Brawlers along with Spider Man. A pretty cookie cutter in humans team. Very good team in many game modes. Uh, same thing with the aim. Now, one thing I want to mention on aim, I run the Assaulter version. Uh, some people like the Researcher version. Uh, I don't I don't really like that Researcher version as much. I like my teams a little more offense based, and if you look. Uh, this is probably the more offense-based version of that X-Men team. This is probably the most offensive version of that AIM team. So this is uh, this is the version I run. Uh, when I'm on war, Ultron goes right here, and uh, there's really no use for a monstrosity, which is why, even though he has seven red stars, I haven't really built him up because the only real place I use monstrosity is on this Blitz team right now. So uh, unfortunately, that's that's why I haven't built him up too much. As we move down, this is a new team. Uh, even as of yesterday, was still using that basic Guardians team, but I uh, wanted to make use of Ironheart. I wanted to start to use her a little more on war offense. So uh, moved her out uh, onto that power armor team, and this is where Vision ended up. 
uh, was thinking of actually putting him onto this Avengers team right here, but uh, I, I thought this, uh, I wasn't really using Guardians too much in uh, in any game mode except for one of the Greek Rays, and that's kind of why I was hesitant to break up that team, but uh, I figured with this team, I could just uh, replace, uh, put Drax and uh, Minerva, Drax and Mantis, excuse me, back in, but uh, this team, I think, would be able to pretty much auto on 8.3 on Blitz. So I went with a more powerful version of that team. That Guardians team, they're good, but, you know, you I, I need to find the right matchup for that team. Whereas the, this team, I think they could just uh, go in and win. We will see. I might be switching it back to that Guardians team, though. Uh, this one right here, Fantastic Four. Pretty basic. Great war offense team. Great Blitz team. Don't use any of these characters too much nowadays outside of that. So... Not using Fantastic Four too much. This is a team that I run uh, on Blitz. And actually, this is a war defense team as well. So, uh, do good. This team this is team is good. Pretty much made by Captain Marvel here. And again, kind of goes against that common Blitz theory crafting, uh, team building wisdom of having the characters all around the same power level. Uh, this team works because the damage dealer is so much higher than the rest of these guys. And uh, 8.3, they can pretty much auto but i need to find a right matchup for that and uh that i do find that uh, more often than not this team is a war defense team except kingpin is in this spot right here but uh the reason i moved ultron onto this team i found that if i have kingpin in this on blitz uh i can still win at 8.3 but i wasn't able to auto i had to uh manually play it with ultron in that spot i could just hit that auto button and you know nowadays with the scores and blitz being so crazy i want more teams that i could just hit auto on 8.3 and this team can do that uh even with the uh big big uh, mr sinister right here and uh, the rest of the team kind of lacking behind uh this is another team that can kind of be made into two separate teams uh in that avengers team and making a shield team but I found that I wanted more teams for uh, 8.3 that kind of fully auto. So this is a team finding the right match. could fully auto on 8.3. Uh, Wakanda, I use Shuri as kind of a backup nowadays on my um, Ultimate 7 team. But uh, still, still very uh, important uh, for this Blitz team. And pretty much that's where I use this team right now on Blitz. Used to be on War Defense, but because I moved that Black Order team onto my War Defense... This is, uh, this is a team I'm not really using too much nowadays either. And and even that uh, team that I use Shuri on Ultima 7, I think I use a different team more, which we're going to get to in just a little bit. And this team can win on 8.3 in Blitz, but uh, you need to find the right matchup. So I would say this is a solid tier 8 Blitz team and uh, with the right matchup, can uh, 8.3. All right, Brotherhood 2.0. Uh, not much to say about this team except for the placement. I do get the question about the placement sometimes. I put Blob next to Juggernaut so you could get some of these deflects that he has for adjacent targets. Uh, Toad goes right here because he's a little weak. And Pyro all the way to the other end because he's a very important character but uh, pretty squishy. So uh, Auto on 8.3 even though you look there's some power discrepancy right there. So these are my defenders right here. This is the placement that I have for these characters. Haven't put a lot of resources into this team, even back when they were uh, somewhat in the meta. Uh, just never really got lucky with the uh, red stars on these characters uh, until until they were kind of out of the meta. So never really built them too high. Uh, power armor team, that new member of that power armor team right there, Ironheart. Uh, definitely need to build her up a little. Haven't gotten very lucky with red stars on my power armor either which is why they aren't built up super beefy. The only character that I have above four red stars is Falcon, and uh, he is not the main damage dealer on this team. So uh, I guess I, I wish uh, if, if I got more red stars in this uh, team, I'd probably build them up a lot more, especially for war offense. Another war offense team that I have is uh, this team right here, the Supernatural team. Great for war offense and kind of like this uh, power armor team, missing some power from that middle character, the Elsa Bloodstone. And that's pretty much it for my 8.3 auto teams. But let's move uh, let's move down to some teams that are not auto. Now, these teams can win, but they really need to find the right matchup. Uh, with that, the defenders are not really an auto team either. But uh, we got the remnants of the old, old villains team. Now, if you were playing way back in the day, you might remember this team. Uh, towards global launch, this is a pretty top uh, top end meta team. Not, not the meta. I think the Avengers were kind of meta. Back then, but this is probably in the top three as far as teams way back in the day. Nowadays, they have fallen off very hard, but I still use these guys in Blitz. 
they can win with the right matchup but this is normally a team that i'm using to climb up the ranks in some of these early tiers in blitz and uh, don't really use these guys outside of uh this game mode now kingpin like i said does slot into that uh, marauders team uh for war defense uh this is my current hero brawler team i used to use these uh x-force members on this team probably a little more fun with those x-force members on this team and then um having these uh the rest of these brawlers move around but i find that these guys are a little more reliable like this on uh on uh in blitz mode especially and then uh, these guys are getting broken up anyway so right now they're in a uh, ant-man and wasp just filling out their spots um they're okay right now they we don't have the complete team for them uh this is my merc team right here and you just had kingpin in this spot not too long ago had korath in this originally and just recently moved back to this korath spot uh once kingpin moved back to this uh, original villains team uh sinister six haven't put too much into them the only real place i see use for them is probably blitz and war and i'm not even sure if they're in the war meta right now kree haven't put too much into them they're a pretty good team if you put some resources into them but i think there's a lot of teams above them that you uh that your resources are going to be more well spent so i haven't put too much into them uh hydra very strong war defense team but as you can see, haven't put too much into them. Not really uh, into the war defense team. I'd rather focus on war offense teams. Uh, the old hand team. Now, this is a team that can still win at some of the lower tiers. Maybe a tier 7. Uh, this the, the big problem with this team is you're, you're facing meta teams a lot in Blitz. So, in Blitz nowadays, if you can find some odd uh, mismatch teams, this team can still win. Uh, even this weird uh, hand assassin version can still win. But outside of that uh, not really using this team and then these are just climber teams so until recently uh mantis was on that guardians team but moved her off and kind of moved her to a trash team right now most of these other characters don't have a lot of value in the game right now exception is mantis and then the um these two kree if you're really going hard on your kree invested a lot into them and then you can make the argument for a uh, researcher as well maybe sniper if you if you're uh, if the rest of your mercenaries are used as well but the rest of these characters not really uh having too much value in the game unfortunate about the uh, winter soldier as well i wish she was a little more valuable now as we move down we got two ultimate seven teams now this is a team that uh Schuberger came up with on his channel and i've been using this team a lot on ultima 7. Uh, this is actually my primary ultima 7 team until that uh final mini boss not the final war machine mini boss but the one right before that i believe it's a vision mini boss so i use that until this uh until that stage because i find on my lane which is the far right you know a lot of hero controllers in there and ebony mod just works very well now this is the team that i was using before that this team can still work i just find that this team is a little more fun so this is my primary team right now but this team can still get on uh up to that node and even surpass that node i still use this team uh right now on the node right after that vision mini boss and uh the big thing with this team is if scientist supreme dies uh, I normally reset that and this team I find has been a little more reliable built Minerva up slightly not too much but just that has helped this team so has uh building up this ebony maw as well uh, and then uh yes but for most of the time I'm running this team and then after that the note right before that final war machine mini boss I I'm going with a black order and I'm one shotting that node with a black order and uh, after that I'm just kind of throwing whatever teams I have at at for ultima seven so those are my teams guys so just to kind of recap arena offense and defense is black order when we talk about blitz these are pretty much my blitz teams war defense and to recap black order is number one asgard is number two uh number three is going to be where are they we have the mercs uh not the mercs the marauders with uh kingpin right there instead we also have uh, the captain marvel avengers we have shield and then we have a couple other meta teams right here. We also have the Defenders. Uh, defenders is just kind of a random spot. They're not a great war offense or defense team. So uh, they're just kind of thrown in there. We have the Mercs and we have Hydra. And those are my war defense teams. The rest of these guys get thrown onto war offense based on the opponent. Those two were my two uh, ultimate seven teams that I'm using right now in addition to the Black Order. And then once in a while, I'll throw the X-Men in there just to get couple million damage just kind of sacrifice them 
Uh, and then the gamma rays are just pretty much whatever uh, is going on right now. We have uh, the gamma rays or the alpha rays, whatever raid we have going on right now. I'm in that cosmic lane and black order is my team there as well. So getting a lot of use out of them. So invested heavily into this team and it's it's kind of paying off. So yes, I guess I guess they did end up being a raid team as well. So there you have it, guys. Those are all of my teams. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, at least seeing where I'm using these characters in the game right now. I'm uh, going to do this again with mobile gamer looking at my roster. And I think there's going to be a lot of changes from now in just these two weeks to where my save squads, how I'm using these teams. So uh, check out that video at the end of the month. But uh, yes, let me know what you guys think of my save squads. Hopefully it helps you with some ideas. Maybe uh, start to build some of these teams long term. Maybe there's some better teams out there that I'm not even using. Let me know in the comments, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Subscribe if you like this video. Smash on the like button. Join the notification squad. At least four Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. There's more links down below that support the channel. And give me a hog fist bump before you go Valley Flying. Out.